Hello, my name is Voya and welcome to My Deep Guide and in today's episode we are revisiting Remarkable Paper Pro for a very specific reason and that reason is that in MDO it exhibits kind of a strange type of behavior that's not really present on any other device uh, or anything else. So let's check it out and see what's what. All right, so the issue in question is really, really peculiar and it took me a while to figure it out and identify what it is. Um, and it doesn't affect all of the Remarkable devices. It actually affects only Remarkable Paper Pro and it exposes a fault in how it interprets and renders PDF files or more importantly certain elements of a PDF file. So what is the problem? Well I'm going to use the same exact document that I've transferred to all of the Remarkable devices here so you can see what it is that I'm talking about. And this is a Remarkable that has been updated to the official release 316, right? So there's no betas or anything, this is the official 316 release. And the problem is basically if you go uh, into to MDO and you go to the daily diary page you get this kind of really strange thing which is two daily diary notes basically overlapping on top of each other and it only happens on those pages but it does happen consistently on those pages now this is not something that you will see in any other uh, on any other device or any other app However, that issue does happen in the Remarkable app as well, uh, despite the same document being properly configured and properly displayed in every other PDF reader app. So let me just bring out the Remarkable 2 and Remarkable 1 and show you how they perform and display same exact file, same exact page. All right, and we've opened the app version here, right? So 2025, Monday 24 app, right? So I'm just gonna open it here, open it here, and open it here. Same document, same page. Let's uh, go to January 1st and the daily diary here. And as you can see, the daily notes, two daily notes correctly displayed here, two daily notes correctly displayed here, two daily notes incorrectly displayed only on the Remarkable Paper Pro and their desktop app because they are incorrectly removing certain elements of a PDF file which is not something that's done on um, the previous devices. So, uh, and again, I want to iterate, this is the same exact document simply opened on uh, different devices here. And again, we can see like a really strange kind of uh, trend here from Remarkable 1 to Remarkable 2 and then to Remarkable Paper Pro. Um, there's, there's a bit of a trend of a degradation of sorts uh, because uh, while yes, the whites of the Remarkable 1's screen were darker than on the Remarkable 2, uh, it was displaying colors in a much more correct way than the Remarkable 2 did. And you can see this gradient and grayscale here really, really co correctly. Um, and I can just quickly get to the week as well. I think that that would be the most uh obvious kind of a check here because then yeah definitely because you can see the differences this is how mdo is supposed to look like this is how mdo looks like on other devices and is displayed but this is how the same document looks like on remarkable 2 and how it looks like on Remarkable Paper Pro. Yes, there were advancements and there were improvements on the Remarkable Paper Pro with the latest update, as there were on the Remarkable 2 as well, but it's really, really disappointing to see that a device from 2017, and this one is running version 3.1, and I intentionally leave it at that because I don't want it to update to the other versions as well. But you can clearly see a very, very strong difference uh, between these three devices, but most importantly, I think it's simply the fact that um, Yeah, these let's try to do it at the same time. I'm just in curious about the performance three two one will it manage? Eh. It didn't manage three two one eh. 
Third time is the charm. Let's try all at the same time. No. Fourth time is the charm. Let's try. Three, two, one. Eh. Try number 57. Yay, I managed. And I don't know, I'll see in the editing who did what. I think Remarkable 2 was the fastest. And Remarkable Paper Pro basically refreshes at the speed of Remarkable 1, which is also interesting to see um, how that performs. Let's do one more. Three, two, one. Yep. Yeah, Remarkable 2 is the fastest, and then Remarkable Paper Pro, and then Remarkable 1. But um, yeah, so that is the issue at hand. Uh, this is something that I'm going to contact Remarkable about, because I've troubleshoot uh, the issue. I know exactly where the problem lies, and I'm going to supply them with that information so that it's much easier for them to track it down and figure it out, because this is... Uh, these two devices are exhibiting correct type of behavior. Uh, Remarkable Paper Pro doesn't. And also I think it's important to kind of keep in mind that this is not an MDO specific type of an issue uh, because MDO is simply a PDF file. So any PDF file that has a specific type of configuration in it would exhibit the same type of fault would kind of uh, come through. All right, so that's the coverage of that issue that is present on Remarkable Paper Pro. And as I said, I will be submitting a um, customer support ticket and uh, hopefully I'll maybe be able to actually get into communication directly with some of the people from Remarkable to kind of ask what's this about, or at the very least get their attention to it because I know exactly what the problem is and then that might help speed up uh, for them to identify where the issue lies, what happens, and hopefully to fix it. But I wanted to make this video so that the MDO users who are using Remarkable Paper Pro are aware of uh, what's in play. And this is something that hopefully will be fixed with one of the upcoming uh, updates for the Remarkable Paper Pro. I hope that you found the video informative and or useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and ding the notification bell in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and see you in the next video. Bye.